Yo, what's up? And Save here. Today, we're gonna be doing another bun bus segment for our vlog. Actually, I went to Daba Wings, this newly opened chicken house here at Eccolent. And unfortunately, they're playing really loud music inside. So I just decided to dine out and I also bought some sweet pastries. I was supposed to do this Valentine series vlog, but some plans didn't went well. We're just gonna be doing this bun bus episode for today. So I am here again at the parking lot of the SMCT Eccolent. So yeah, let's find a good place for us to eat. So I found this shady cool spot here at the parking lot of SM. Before we get this food trip started, if you guys are new to my channel or haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. You're doing me a big favor by doing so. And also hit that notification bell so that you will be always notified from all of my channel's activities. All right, so let's start immediately. And for my first food that I have here, it's the chicken sandwich or the chicken burger. So this chicken burger's composition is very simple. The chicken patty, the lettuce, and the dressing. So have a bite on this one. Mmm, this is awesome. They did an amazing job to the patty of this chicken burger. It's been like 10 or 15 minutes since I ordered this one. And it's still perfectly crunchy and it's so juicy. Usually chicken patties and the chicken burgers are dry, but this one's definitely flavorful and juicy. Let's have another bite. The dressing is savory and kind of sweet. And it really complements the flavor of the chicken. Yes, yeah, so if you can see this one, the chicken patty is really juicy. You can see that great chicken juice inside. It's one of the things that I really like about this chicken sandwich. Let's keep digging onto this burger. That was such a huge bite that I took. It's like 85% from that bite was chicken patty and it's so good. This chicken burger, not bad. Next food that I have here, this one is called the Daba Wrap. So basically it's like tacos with chicken fingers inside. So for the composition of this Daba Wrap, like I said, the chicken fingers inside, dressing, the lettuce, and the tortilla wrap. Finally have a bite. Mm. The dressing on this one is more flavorful and more aggressive. It's savory, sweetie, and peppery. It gives it a barbecue-y aftertaste. Mm. I like the sauce of the dressing on this one more. It really enhances more the flavor of this wrap. So the texture of the tortilla wrap is not really that great. It's kind of a bit hard and chewy, but it is being compensated well by the flavor of the sauce. And the chicken is so amazing. Absolutely, this sauce is kind of barbecue-y and it's really flavorful. Mm. I'm getting to the bottom of this one. This wrap, really nice. Since it's lunchtime, it's just right for us to have a soup. We have the chicken mushroom soup. Have a taste of the soup itself. Mm. Oh, this one's really amazing. Mm. Mm. It's savory, mushroomy, and it really tastes so good. Let's have a taste of some chicken in the mushroom. Mm. This is a really good mushroom soup. Mm. It's terrific because it's still hot. Can it mushroom? Mm. But you know what? I have an idea. So the burger comes with the mojo, so I dip this one in the mushroom sauce. Let's try this one. Mm. 
Mm. The mojo is really soft. It's kind of salty and it did really go so well with the savory flavor of the mushroom. The mojos are thinly sliced. Texture is beautiful. Let's have another one. Mm. <laughs> this is so great. We taste it with some mushroom soup. Mm. This is just delightful. Finally, now we're going to have a taste of their chicken wings, and this is one of their best sellers. I have here the garlic parmesan and the teriyaki flavor. Let's have a taste of the garlic parmesan first. Mm, it's salty and cheesy. The chicken meat is awesome. Definitely salty. Actually, this flavor reminds me of salted egg flavor from a chicken wings, but this is the Parmesan cheese. Now let's get messy on this one. Let's have another one. Mmm. You try to have this one. Make sure to really have a rice. This is definitely so salty. Though I can say that this one's cooked so well because it's so juicy and succulent. Every time you take a bite, all of that salty and chickeny flavor will burst out on your tongue. Mmm. And like I said earlier, this one is still so crunchy. Mmm. Now let's try this teriyaki flavor. I so love this one. The sauce is barbecue-y, kind of sweetie, and the sesame seeds on this one really gives that extra aroma to this chicken. When you order your chicken wings at Taba Wings, definitely get the teriyaki one. This one is so great. Have another one. This is just so flavorful and I like it. I'm definitely getting messy on this one right now, but like I always say, it doesn't matter as long as the food really tastes so good, then that's the best thing right there. Their chicken is delicious. Before we continue with this food trip, I just want to give back my support to Ate Miles. She's my friend and she's based in Hong Kong and she does amazing activities on her vlogs. She does anything under the sun on her vlogs. So please check out Ate Miles' YouTube channel as well. Now let's go back to this video. <music> Alright, and for the highlight for today's Bun Bus episode, I have here some cream puffs. I ordered this one at Nosagi Japanese Pastries and this one really looks so beautiful. So six pieces of different flavors from Nosagi Japanese Pastries. And looking at this right now really makes me salivate. I'm gonna have a taste in one of these. I think this one's strawberry. Let's have a bite. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. The cream just burst out on my nose. Mm. Wait a minute, guys. Definitely, this one is so abundant when it comes to its filling. Now, let's eat this strawberry on top. Mm. This one's so delightful and sweet. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Every time I take a bite on this cream puff, the feeling inside will just burst out on your face. And you can help it because it's so good. I mean, look at this one. This is what I'm talking about. The donut, the bread, and the filling ratio is just so imbalanced. There's a lot of filling inside. Let's have another bite. Mm. And also, 
I so love the texture of their bread. It's really soft, gives you that subtle taste, and it's so amazingly buttery. Now let's try this purple one. Mm. Mm. And it happened again. This one's definitely getting so messy. And I like that. These green puffs just won't stop hitting my nose. Mm. Can you see that? Every time I take a bite on this one, the feeling is just wanting to come out from the donut. And it's so ridiculously good. Look at this one. I'm kind of a bit confused on what flavor is this one. It's savory, not really that sweet. I think this one's ube and pandan flavor. This is so mind-blowingly good. That was just an awesome lunch. It was really great. It was awesome. From all of the food that I ordered at the Daba Wings, it was definitely great. It's so delicious. For me, it's just that not something new or it doesn't have that wow factor. It is really common here in Davao to have chicken wings. There's a lot of competition when it comes to chicken wings, like from the pastries or the cream puffs that I had at the Nosagi Japanese pastries. It was out of this world. It was so delicious and delightful that every time I take a bite from the cream puffs, the feelings just keep touching my face, messing my nose, and I so love that. The feeling is just so overloaded, and I so love the texture of the donut. It's really buttery, it's so soft and airy, that you would really enjoy every time you eat that. You know, Japanese people are really artistic when it comes to their food, so you should definitely order yourself a cream puffs at the Nosagi. And I assure you guys, you would 100% thank me for recommending that to you guys. If you have any suggestions for my next food location, just drop it down in the comments below. I would definitely read all of it and make sure to visit in all of those places. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is Mian's Dave, and I'll see you in the next one.